Is there a benefit to where you actually place your outdoor patio heater? Let's take a look. Hello, I'm Steve. This is the Patio Heat Channel, where we create visual concepts of infrared heating as well as tips for outdoor comfort. This one-on-one -on -one customer support helps you make the best decision for your application. Visit our patioheat.com website for sales and more information. Please tap that like button if you find this video useful as it helps others find our channel. Now let's get heating. All right, so here we have this uh, it's a second floor deck here that is in a residential application. You can see we have a fan. It's kind of a shorter uh, blade fan that we have in the middle. There are some recessed uh, lighting up here. And let's go ahead and look at the overall dimensions. So I have a uh, ceiling height of 11.8 uh, off the finished floor. And then I have a total uh, opening here of 19 and a half feet. And then a depth here of 14 feet. So from the wall here to the outside edge. You can see we have a couple of different seating arrangements. This is uh, just a casual seating and a dining area over here. There is a door, I believe swings in towards the residence. And then there's also a sliding door here going left to right. So there's no issue with regards to the doorways themselves. All right, so let's go ahead and look at uh, what might work and what might be more beneficial. Um, so here's placing two units. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the dimensions here. Uh, oh, and I should probably mention, I did, you know, just so you can see, this is six feet center to center on the lights up here, and then 11 foot six, and that's all centered within the span here and here. So if you went from the center three feet out, you'd get this light here. And if you went to center here and went, uh, what is that, uh, nine and a half, uh, nine and a quarter feet, uh, nine and three quarters feet, sorry. Um, then you get this point right here. Okay, so just so you know that. So you may, it might be different um, in this application, it might be closer, it might be further out, and that will play some part in the decision making here. All right, let me turn that off again. All right, and so I placed two of the 6,000 watt units here, and um, I just have them at uh, 48 inches from center here to the center of the patio. So it's about eight, eight feet center to center on the heater. And um, these are 6,000 watt, 240 volt at uh, 25 amps a piece. They uh, will produce approximate, approximately 20,460 BTUs of output. Let's go ahead and see what the uh, footprint of heat. I'm gonna actually go inside here for a minute and see if we can take a look at it this way. So here you can see the ray um, as it, oops, sorry about that, as it travels out, it's um, coming out to its furthest extent and um, this is the ideal footprint of heat. So if you're 10 feet away, that's mostly the ideal. The, the ray physically does travel further and will absorb into any mass that's further out because it is a light wave and light doesn't uh, absorb into the air, it absorbs into mass. Um, but the intensity is gonna be kind of low. Now on the flip side to that, um, you know, this is the exposed side of the patio. So this is where any cold air is gonna be coming in to the, the existing room area or uh, sealed up area. And um, this would be a benefit to anyone that's sitting on this outside edge here. So um, that's just something to think about. And then if you look over here with these two units at 6,000 watts, these are 61 and a quarter inches long. You can see we have a lot of overlapping in the middle. It's probably too, way too much right here. So um, just something to think about if you are going to choose that model. So let's go ahead and uh, take that off and we'll put in two, um, these are CD uh, 5024. So these are 5,000 watt, 240 volts. And you can see here, dual element units. And you can see their footprint is much um, less wider. Now I did put them so that they are at the same uh, position as the others on the outside edge here and on the outside edge here. So we weren't getting so much crossover. Um, you do need to make sure you maintain 18 inches from this edge to a wall and this edge to any wall as well. And you can see here, you got, you know, good coverage, less of this crossover, but inside, if you look at from this point here, you're not getting the ideal coverage, especially for the majority of the space. So it would really only be beneficial for something out there on the edge. So just something to think about. So what would be my, um, option, which I would probably go for if this was my place. I would go for something more like this, where I take two 6,000 watt units. I have them at about a 10 degree angle pointed towards the uh, inside. 
they're actually two foot uh, six inches to the center of the bracket to this wall here. I'm not covering up the lights. Now, if the lights are at that uh, location, then you could move it back. You can go back as far as 18 inches. So let's just show you here. So you can go 18 inches from this edge to this edge along this wall here using the OEM brackets and then um, a maximum of 10 degrees really tilt because otherwise you're starting to go into the ceiling area with the clearances and that would be an issue. So, but if you can see this, uh, let's look at it from this point of view, I think. You can see here we're getting a really good coverage throughout the whole entire space and good even coverage throughout you know, this, this depth here as well. So that would be my um, recommendation. Let's see if I turn off these rays, how it would kind of physically look. You know, you're not gonna see any of these light uh, or colors that I'm showing you. You're gonna only see this. This is infrared light. It's not human uh, visible to the human eye. So you're just gonna be seeing the heater when they're on. There will be a little glowing orange up here, but you're not gonna see a glowing ray come down like you would from a light fixture or something of that nature. So. But that's how it would look, you know, if you're standing inside. I like this kind of location too because you're seeing the edge here. You're not seeing the um, long uh, length this direction here, nor would you be seeing this longer unit here as well. So that's kind of why I chose these as being probably the best option in my uh, viewpoint. So. All right, well, I hope this has helped. If you're looking for some assistance with your outdoor heating application and you'd like us to review your plans, please send your information into designs at patioheat.com. And again, please tap that like button. We're not, we don't advertise, we're not monetized. YouTube does not support our channel unless we receive your thumbs up and you don't know how important that is. So please click that button down below. Have a great day.